You may have noticed that originators of the methods demonstrated on these videotapes take as their primary goal students communicating in the target language. Many of these same methodologists emphasize the acquisition of linguistic structures or vocabulary. In the last method we will observe, the communicative approach, it is acknowledged that structures and vocabulary are important. However, adherents of the communicative approach feel that students must master the functions or purposes to which language is put before they will be able to truly use the language. Watch how this view of language influences the way the teacher designs the lesson. The communicative approach will be demonstrated by my colleague, Alex Silverman. Anyway, today we're going to start a brand new unit. And this unit will be focusing on a new function, persuasion. How do you convince people to believe in your point of view? Okay, I think this will be a useful skill for you to have both in your academic work and as you function in the larger world in everyday life. Um, and the topic that we'll be using to work on this art or skill of persuasion will be the best place to live. We're going to talk about different kinds of living situations. Okay? Now it so happens that my family is facing an important decision on this topic, the best place to live. And I'll tell you the reason why. Like many American families, maybe some that you know, my family, we all started out together. We, I grew up in New York City, and of course everyone was together. And then, as the children grew up, we spread out all over the country. And now we live hundreds or thousands of miles from each other. Why do you think, can you guess maybe why the children move to different places? Because For work? Because studies. Because studies. Yes. Yes. They got married and they moved away. Yeah. Yeah. Vacation? Vacation? Yeah. yeah, well my parents went on vacation to Florida once and they liked it and they decided to move there. Okay, so now the situation is this. My parents, Bill and Sarah, live in South Florida. I live in western Massachusetts in the country with beautiful hills and streams and fields all around. My brother Charlie moved to a big city, Philadelphia. How many people have been to Philadelphia? Just a few. Okay, it's not too far from Washington. And my sister went to Wisconsin, to Madison, which is a small city, for her studies. And she liked it, and she stayed there. Now, here is the problem. My parents are tired of living so far from the children. They would like to get back together, at least for a while, with one of the children. The question is, which place to go to? Since they love each of the children equally, their decision is going to be based on which is the best place to live, a big city, the country, or a small city or town, right? And we are having a family meeting, family council, we call it, to make that decision. And you're going to decide which is the best place, as if you were my family. And I'll be very interested to see what your decision is, OK? Now, we're going to do a little bit of work before the role play on the structure of persuasion. And to start that off, I'd like to talk with you a little bit about where you live and what you like about where you live. How many people here live in a big city at home, in your own country? Uh, most of you. How many live in a, what we would call a small city? Town. And how, uh, just two or three. And how many live in the country? Just one in the country? <laughs> OK. All right. Well, let's talk about the big city then, since so many of you are from a big city. Um, what are the reasons that you like 
living in a big city. What are some of the advantages that you find in big city life? Better jobs. Better jobs, okay. Business activity. After the students give all their reasons, the teacher gives an example of how one might make a case for living in a big city. Finally, there's a wider variety of people that you can meet in a big city. Now, what I just did was structure my persuasion in a certain way that we like to do in English. And one term you can use for this structure is making a case. Okay, and if we look at this structure, it's what I just did. We open citing one reason, and we say something like to begin with, or first of all, and then we strengthen or build the argument. We cite additional reasons. And we use some of these expressions to make a transition from, from one reason to another. Besides that, in addition, moreover, furthermore. And the third part of the argument, we're making the case, is perhaps a summary of the main reason or a final reason, right? Now, who can, work, working with this structure, who can make a case for, let's say, South Florida? Many of you know about Florida. How many people have been to Florida yet? A few of you, but you've all heard of it. Who can make a case for living in Florida using that kind of a formula? Who can start off? Marta? Well, OK, uh, I should try to convince. Well, in short, I think that the place convenient for you, um, uh, it has a very good weather, too, all yes. year round. Absolutely. You should go there. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, who's going to teach you? OK, well, that's very good. That's the idea. Um, and that's the, t the type of argument you can make in a written form or when you're, for example, at a business meeting and you're trying to present your point of view, you might use this kind of structure. Okay? Now, we're going to go to the role play that I mentioned before and you're each going to get a chance to practice making a case. Okay? Now, here is what we're going to do in the role play. First of all, you're going to divide into groups of four, and you will each receive a card. On the card is your identity for the role play. Each of you will be one of the children, me, Alex, Charlie, who lives in Philadelphia, or my sister, Lynn, who lives in Madison, a small city in Wisconsin. The fourth person in the group will be one of my parents, and it will say this on the card. Bill or Sarah. Sarah. Here is how it's going to work. When you get the card, you will see information about your home, Madison or Philadelphia or Massachusetts. These will give you hints about how to make a case for your place. Okay? What you will do is first take a couple of minutes to study the card, see the information, think up additional reasons besides the one on the card, the ones on the card, for living in your place, okay? You are free to ask me any questions you may have about any of these places, because I've been to all of them. I know them all pretty well, okay? Then, once those two minutes are up and you've prepared your case, the family council will start. And what you will do is try to convince Bill or Sarah, the parents, that your place is best. So you make a case in front of Bill or Sarah about your place. And everyone else will listen. Okay? Follow the formula for making a case. Once each of the three children has made his or her case, the parent in the group the person playing my father or mother, Bill or Sarah, will decide which is the most 
convincing argument and will state the reasons why. Okay? So each child makes the case. Bill or Sarah listens, thinks about the arguments, and decides which is the best one, the most convincing one. Then, after that, we'll come back in the large group, and I'll ask the Bills and Sarahs to report on what they decided. Okay? Any questions about the procedure? Okay, could you move into groups of four? And I will give you your cards. Convince what, what is the reason for that? The best yes. Your own room and uh, stay with some with uh, one of your children. Mm -hmm. You have to live with the oldest. One. Yes. The oldest. Yes. 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 Same thing in, okay. in our country. Same situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the two of the children mm -hmm. can help the oldest for entertaining her parents. That's no problem. It's next to, See if it's on. To, to my country. And uh, it can come. It can Remember, come ask come. me if you have any questions uh, about any of the places. To see, to see us. And I think you have to come in, uh, in our country, in my country. Uh, yes. Not uh, uh, very polite. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very polite. No. Uh, the ear is uh, very The ear is good. clean, but yes. I don't know. Is, uh, You're not is, sure if they're I'm telling sure. the truth? It's <laughs> <laughs> a big city, case, Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, the big city might be more polluted. Yes. And that, <laughs> it was like just a no. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's a reason for the country. Yeah. 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 Or the parents' situation. Okay. Parents are still walking. No, the parents retired. are retired. Yeah, yes. yeah, but I can offer a, a, a work in Massachusetts. No. It's, it's a very nice work. Okay, because, let's you know, that's let us listen. I have good yeah. reasons. Okay, go okay you have your reasons. Yeah. Yeah. You tell me The parents in the group need to decide now. So please decide and tell everyone your reasons right now. Okay? So it's time to decide. <laughs> Who was a parent here? Victor? Yes. What did you decide? Yes, uh, I, I listened carefully to uh, what uh, Lynn, Charlie, and Alice said about Wisconsin, uh, Philadelphia, Massachusetts. Um, I think that I, I was confused uh, in the, at first, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, I think that Charlie have, have the, the reason. And I decided to go to Philadelphia because it's a big city. Yeah. Uh, have a, the, it has a, a good technologies, technology, um, library, I, and I like to, to research, research. Do research. Do research. Yeah, uh -huh. research. So libraries are important yes. to you. And I like to swim in the, the sea. Uh -huh. And, and the sea boat. isn't too far. Yes. Right. But he, he, he has uh, his own boat. Too. Oh, he has his own boat. Yes. Oh, that's great. Okay, great. So we have one vote for Philadelphia. Okay, one vote for Philadelphia. Okay, parent Ibrahima. I had uh, but some our efforts. Uh, 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 I decided to to join Alex in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, first of all, I have uh, an opportunity to to do my job. Uh, Correctly in a town, who, which are not, which is not uh, polluted. Polluted. Yeah. Yeah. It's not polluted. Uh, in addition, I I have to, an opportunity to to visit uh, Boston, which is a good uh, city. Yeah, and it's yeah. not too it's, far. It's is not it? too far. It's a couple of hours. Yeah. That's all. Uh, uh, finally, I think. Uh, for the fun and for the job and for all of the activities, I decided to join Alex. Alex. Okay, so we have one vote for the country in Western Mass. Great. Who else was a parent? Uh, three family. The first of all, um, I think I like all of my children. Um, besides that, uh, is a. Uh, uh, we are retired. We have a lot of time uh, to go to out uh, to look around. It's uh, good for 
uh, for our health. Uh, so I finally I decided to go to the uh, three family. So this year I will go to the Philadelphia. Next okay. year we'll go to the Western. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a clever solution. <laughs> so one family each yeah. year. Great. Mm. It's okay. quite exciting. Now how do I count that kind of vote? I think I'll give one to everyone. One yes, and it'll make Lynn feel good because she doesn't have any votes yet. <laughs> My wife and me have a lot of problem because uh, Alex is my first son and uh, uh, Lynn is uh, my wife's uh, last uh, daughter. Yes. And uh, she likes to live with uh, Lynn and uh, I like to live with uh, my first daughter. That's this a is a problem. problem. <laughs> so, so what did you decide? So I'm tired. I have 19 years old. And uh, when I die, uh, <laughs> Alex can be take my place uh -huh. and uh, take care of uh, her, his uh, brothers and sisters. So we decided to live with Alex. And uh, when we die, Alex can be take care of uh, his uh, brothers and sisters. Well, another reason. very creative solution. Yes. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to call my parents and tell them. So, we have another vote for Western Mass, the yes. country. Let's count up the votes. Four for the country, three for the big city, and only one for the small city. So, I am the winner. <laughs> Thank you for helping me decide that. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. For homework, I'd like you to write a one-page composition in which you follow this formula and make a case for your own place where you live in your own country. Okay? okay. One page. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye. The lesson we just observed, we saw the students learning to make a case. The vehicle the teacher used to have students practice making their cases was a role play. This gives the language there to use a social context a characteristic of all communicative events. It also gives the communication a purpose. Moreover, the role play gives the students an opportunity to practice using language forms that are not only linguistically accurate, but sociolinguistically appropriate as well, appropriate to the setting, topics, and participants. By working in small groups, communicative interaction and cooperative relationships are encouraged. Such occasions give students an opportunity to work on negotiating meaning or trying to make themselves understood. They thus, thus learn to communicate by communicating. As the students role play, the teacher moved from group to group, acting as an advisor or a facilitator instead of as a director. During the last activity, the parents were given the opportunity to report their decision. Students are thus given an opportunity to express their opinions and to share their ideas on a regular basis. When they do so, Errors of form are tolerated by the teacher and are seen as a natural outcome of the development of communication skills. The teacher may choose to draw attention to common errors in subsequent lessons, but for now, the focus is on fluency and reinforcing the message that communication is primary. This concludes the second tape of this two-tape video series on language teaching methodologies. You may wish to spend a few minutes reflecting on what you have seen. Try to identify techniques or principles which you find helpful and think about how you might adapt them to your own teaching situation. Of course, even those techniques or principles which you did not find useful can help you to clarify your own beliefs about the teaching learning process. For instance, what does your rejection of them tell you about your own teaching practice? Being clear about why you do what you do will give you a firm foundation from which to sift through the methods demonstrated here. We have presented some options. Now it is your responsibility to hold them up to the filter of your own beliefs, experience, and the needs of your students. I wish you well.